one baby every four days is born with cystic fibrosis. The disease that can make you feel like you're drowning on the inside. It's a chronic illness with no cure. Good job, Dave. Nice. Good job, Ange. Good. Good job, Janet. Cystic fibrosis is chronic, it's genetic, and it progressively worsens. I'm 45 years old, and I've only got 25% lung function left. The other 75% of my lungs are just dead tissue. More breaks, got 90 seconds. 90 seconds left. Because of the adaptability of CrossFit, I'm, I'm an athlete like everybody else is in, the, in this gym working out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 Reebok CrossFit Games season. CrossFit Open is five weeks of workouts. Every athlete that signs up will be posting a score for every one of these workouts. This is how you get to the CrossFit Olympics, basically. My goal was to post a score every workout for the five weeks. If I can post a score, well, that's gonna be me posting a score in life. <laughs> Any score. <laughs> one for reps or rounds. If I'm last, I'm last, but at least I'm ahead of anybody that's sitting on the couch. How old am I in this one? Oh, that's younger. Younger, yeah, that's before. Yeah. Before I got sick. Yeah, you're about. Well, eight before we got there, diagnosed, yeah. 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 <laughs> was I healthy when I was born? You were. You were crackly. You were oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We found out that one in 20 people carry the CF gene. Well, the doctors told us that she had a perpetual cold. It was just forever. They just kept saying, it's a cold, it's a flu. This is in Salmon Arm? Yeah. So we did find out at this point that yes. I had CF? Yeah. yeah. Just. Mm -hmm. One month after your fourth birthday, to the day. No. So much of it seemed to be digestive at that point, and she wasn't gaining weight. She was failing to thrive. She had life expectancy every year. She was at what life expectancy was. So when she was diagnosed at four, life expectancy was seven. When she was nine or 10, life expectancy was 12. All we could do was sit and worry. Don't bother registering your kid for school. I'll never forget those words. <laughs> Then I see her today. I was to do knee ups, a calorie row, and a 20 pound dumbbell hang clean. I think a lot of it is I think, will I die physically, really, in my head? <laughs> like, I don't, I just am like, okay, let's just do this. Let's just do it, and that's how I face life. It's like, if I think about stuff too long, I will psych myself out. I managed five rounds in 20 minutes, so that to me is telling CF to F off. You know, I wake up in the morning after sleeping with oxygen. The lungs have rested, which you don't want lungs to rest when they're full of mucus. You need them to be actively pushing, helping you cough out the mucus. So the mornings are tough because you've got to do some airway clearance. And then I've got four different inhales that I need to get into my lungs just so I can brush my teeth. Turn it back on. The bad days are when it takes me five hours to do that. 
The good days are when it takes me two. CFers are like me. Like, we, we all, we need our sleep. Like, I need 10 to 12 hours of sleep. So then, you know, if I don't get that, then my day starts off pretty bad. And then I have another two hours of meds to do. So, you know, the part of living life is about six hours of my day. The second workout, I was absolutely dreading because it's burpees. And burpees for me, throwing my body to the ground and lifting myself up is so hard on the lungs. So all I did was spend most of the time trying to recover from a burpee. I did my best. I, I felt tight, my chest felt tight. I got through it, I got a score. That's all that matters. <laughs> Thank God there was a 12 minute time cap. I was just glad it was over. I was so glad 18 feet two was over. People are like, when are you gonna get your lung transplant? Well, uh, you don't just sign up for it. It's not a subscription. <laughs> you actually, someone has to die for starters, but I have to be actively listed. All right, take a big breath in, hold it in, and you can breathe. With a lung function of 25%, I should be actively listed for a lung transplant because most people can't live at lung at 25%. Like so. But for me, because of my fitness level, doing CrossFit for the last six years, it's keeping me off of the being actively listed. So a lot of damage in your lungs as a consequence of the lifetime of CF. Yeah. In your case, you've got more damage preferentially to the left than the right lung. I found that out. 87% um, yeah. perfusion of the, yeah. of the right. So your heart is normal here. Yeah. Your left lung is smaller than it should be, and then these are areas of scarring. One of the principles of transplant is, is to get the most miles out of your own lungs first. Yes, so you have sure. the most length and quality of life out of your own lungs. Yeah. Yeah, like sometimes I think, you know what, just put me on the list. I want to go through it. I want to get it over with. I want to just start my new life. Yeah. And then I realize, well, that's just being stupid. So lung transplants are not a cure for cystic fibrosis. It's just an option to death. So for me, I'm going to get maybe another five years, maybe another 10. But I, it could be disabled. I could be dealing with um, it's called post-transplant lymphoma. I could get other types of cancers. I'm susceptible to everything because I'm immunosuppressed. So it's not like I'm gonna get this new life and start a, this amazing chapter and go do all the things I wanted to do. That's just not it. Mark Twain said, there's two defining moments of your life, the day you were born and the reason you figure out why. And that's my calling, I figured out why. The Summit Foundation for Cystic Fibrosis is a foundation I started in 2005, and we raised money for a lab that is actually in my name at the University of Calgary Cummings School of Medicine. The Summit Foundation found a donor to donate a million dollars to buy a machine called a Cytoff. It's basically a machine that can look at any bacteria of the body, lung, brain, stomach, and figure out what its makeup is. So I put in a little sample, and it comes out, and it tells me exactly what kind of immune cells there are uh, in your blood. And if I can tweak that immune system using this machine and correct it, you'll feel a little better. And that's what we're trying to do with this machine. I think we're gonna stumble upon something that's gonna fix CF. So that's why I'm excited because it opens 20 doors to figuring out how to deal with CF. Week three was a 45 pound overhead squat, which is like more than my PR. Okay. 
The skipping was difficult because I had to take the oxygen off. But in order to push the score, I had to skip. So that was so hard. So how was the 18 going? It was, it was hard. The skipping was brutal because I couldn't breathe. Like I had to do skips and then I couldn't breathe, so. Well, it's a cardiac, it's a cardi yeah. cardiac. It's it a cardiac cardio uh... arrest. <laughs> <laughs> it was a small heart attack every time I was off the pipe. <laughs> yeah. I think the CrossFit has prolonged um, her health, uh, it, it, it stabilized her health to a point where she doesn't need lungs yet. You don't know whatever you think about CrossFit, um, it's working for her. I'm like 418th in Alberta for my age group, um, out of like 420, but that's because two people dropped out. <laughs> well, you didn't drop out, so that you're better than them. <laughs> hey, I got a score. I don't that's have right. a DNF. The effort that she puts in to do what she does is absolutely astounding. She's walking proof that it works. I, I honestly believe that's why she's here today. Because she is a fighter. She could have quit long ago. Many, many would have. I know that. It's just gonna happen. I'm just gonna get sicker and then my quality of life is gonna change. And once I'm dependent on everything and 24 hours on oxygen, then I'm gonna just say I wanna be listed. So this is the woman I was telling you about, that friend of mine in Wallaceburg, Ontario, so. Oh, wow. <coughs> How long ago did she have her transplant? Uh, two weeks now. Wow. Yeah, and she got her staples out today. It's funny because any CF patient after has got the gaunt look is gone. Right. So they actually have color in their cheeks because yes. the blood is actually flowing properly. She looks amazing. You're going to look just the same. Yeah, so this is like 10 or 12 days after transplant. Wow, that's Here she amazing. Is. I know. She's doing a dance. Isn't that hilarious? So, Nikki, after your transplant, how do you think things will go for you? Well, hopefully I'm obstacle free <laughs> and have a nice smooth recovery and within three months I'm home and I'm hoping that you know once I have really good lungs I'm just gonna go for a run. You're gonna take off? Yeah. Good. So all the way through high school I was an athlete. I certainly wasn't an excellent athlete but I was good and then in university I became complacent to it. So I started on a downward spiral definitely and in a matter of three years, I went from an 85% lung function to 60. I realized that you know, this is, this is work. I have a disease that's keeping me from, you know, being able to walk across campus. So yeah, it was a lot of me denying that I was sick and that cost me. Me having to get a feeding tube was the worst thing I could hear and to, to just relent to CF, to have to get one, but it saved my life. I'm still here, I still use it every night. Three steak dinners. The body burns so many calories just trying to breathe. So just getting up in the morning, I burn 1,500 calories, just from going to prone to awake. Um, and that's just end-stage cystic fibrosis. I have cystic fibrosis-related diabetes because the pancreas isn't able to send out the proper amount of insulin anymore. As CFers age, we end up getting this, actually. Oh. Someone asked me, do you ever cry? I'm like, yeah, I do cry, actually. And I have moments where you wouldn't think that I would cry, but I do cry. Um, one day I got tangled up between my oxygen and my vacuum cleaner and just fell to the floor, just thinking, I just want something different at that time. You know, you just wanted just not to be tangled up in oxygen and trying to vacuum my house. Um, so yeah, there's, there's times where I'm, I'm sad, for sure. Um, then I gotta reel it in, and um, I went and bought a Dyson <laughs> after that. <laughs> it's like, no more cords. <laughs> never let 
this hold us back as a family and certainly not her back as a survivor or fighter. Warrior is often what she's called and she's my hero in lots of ways. I mean, every workout is hard, but there's certain, some workouts that are ridiculous. And if I manage to power through them, I'm pretty darn happy. And yeah, so it's definitely an antidepressant. It was very difficult and I'm glad it was over. <laughs> Open has come to an end. Congratulations, you made it through the last five weeks. I'm who I am because of CF. I'm here to get people to grab onto life by the horns and live a life worth living.